Hi guys, I'm Tina from Makeup Wearables and today I'm going to show you how to do a messy Dutch braid into an infused fishtail on your own hair. Make a side part to start a Dutch braid and ignore how frizzy my hair is looking today. I tried one of those no heat curl method using the braiding technique and it just gave me an afro instead of a wave. So this is why my hair is looking like crazy. So a Dutch braid is where you cross the side strands under the middle strand after adding in hair. So we're going to add in some hair from the top to the top piece and cross it under the middle strand. And add in some hair from the bottom to the bottom piece before crossing it under the middle strand. Top hair goes to the top strand and we're going to braid it under. Bottom hair goes into the bottom strand and we braid it under. And that's all there is to Dutch braiding. So continue braiding your way down towards your ear, well past your ear, adding in hair from the opposite side of your part to the back strand as you work your way down. And when you're done adding in hair from the opposite ear, we're going to start adding in hair from the back to the back strand. And if you have short face framing layers like me, we're going to need to use some bobby pins later because our hair won't be long enough to do a side braid on. So don't worry if your hair starts falling out because we can just pin it up later. Okay, so when you get to about here, we're going to gather all of our hair and after making one more braid, split our hair in half to start a fishtail braid. Just like a normal fishtail braid, take a small strand from the outside of one section and cross it over to the other section, making sure you're placing it in the inside area of the opposite section. And then normally we'll be repeating it on the opposite section. However, for this infused fishtail braid, we're going to take another section on the same side, but this time we're going to take it under to the other section. Okay? And then we repeat this on the opposite section. Take some hair from the outside and cross it over to the other side. Take some hair from the outside again and cross it under to the other side this time. And then repeat. Take some hair from the outside and cross it over. Take some hair from the outside and cross it under. So basically it's like this, outside over, outside under. Outside over, outside under. Outside over, outside under. Outside over and outside under. When I make tutorials, I try to imagine what you guys might have trouble with and with this hairstyle, it might be getting the braid all twisted up since it's a 3D fishtail braid. If this is happening to you, then it's because you're not repeating the steps exactly. What I mean by that is if you started this braid by taking the first strand over, then every time you start on the new section, you must start it by going over. Okay, so if that didn't make any sense, let's say I did over under. Then on the opposite side, I did over under again. Then when I go back to my original section, I go under over. So it's different now, right? Then this is how it's going to mess you up. So if you start by going over under, then you have to always stay over under. You cannot go over under over under and then all of a sudden go under over because this is how you're going to mess up. After tying the braid, you can pull out the sides of the fishtail in the back. And we're all done. This hairstyle has totally saved my bad hair day. If you like this hairstyle, give this a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys again next week. Have an amazing day, everyone. I love you guys. Bye.